The Arduino Nano I.O. Shield and Temperature Sensors used in this video are sponsored by the DigitSpace. DigitSpace is an open source hardware provider. They supply innovative, user-friendly open source hardware products at extremely low prices. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an industrial temperature monitoring system using Arduino, I2C supported OLED display module and multiple MEX6675 thermocouple temperature sensor amplifiers based on the K-type thermocouples capable of measuring the temperature from 0 to 1024 centigrade. This is an industrial level temperature monitoring system and can be used in plastic injection molding machines, food industries and so on where you need to monitor multiple temperature sensors. In this tutorial we will only cover the monitoring while in version 2 we will make a complete automatic system so that the heaters can be turned on and turned off depending on the predefined values. In this tutorial we will cover number 1 makes 6675 technical specifications number 2 OLED display module pinout number 3 complete circuit diagram explanation number 4 Arduino programming and finally number 5 testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Digitspace and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the MAX6675 thermocouple temperature sensor amplifier. The temperature resolution capability of the MAX6675 breakout module is 0.25 degree. The operating voltage is 3 to 5.5 volts due to which it can be used with 3.3 volt compatible controller ports like NodeMCU, ESP8266 amp module, ESP32 and so on. This module needs around 50 milliamps. As you can see, all the pins are clearly labeled as ground, VCC, SCK, CS, and SO. The two wires of the thermocouple comes with the red and blue sleeves. Red is connected with the positive terminal of the MAX 6675 module, while the blue wire is connected with the minus terminal of the MAX 6675 breakout module. If you want to study in detail about the different types of the thermocouples, the basic working principle, then I highly recommend read this article. I will share a link in the description. This is a monocolor 0.96 inch with 128 by 64 pixels OLED I2C display module. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. There are two different models of the same OLED display module which are SSD1306 and SH1106. The one you can see on the screen is the SH1106. This OLED display module can be powered up using 3.3 to 5 volts due to which it can be easily used with 3.3 volts supported controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8265 and module, ESP32, etc. and 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano and so on. This display module has a total of 4 male headers which are clearly labeled as VCC, Ground, SCL and SDA. If you want to know more about this OLED display module, then watch my previous tutorial which explains the extreme basics including the interfacing, solving some basic issues, downloading the libraries and so on. As you can see, the circuit diagram is very simple. Let's start with the OLED display module. The ground and VCC pins of the OLED display module are connected with the Arduino's ground and 5 volts. The SCL pin of the OLED display module is connected with the analog pin A5 and the SDA pin is connected with the analog pin A4 of the Arduino. 
The ground and VCC pins of all the MEX 6675 boards are connected with the Arduino's ground and 5 volts. The SCK, CS and SO pins of the first temperature sensor module are connected with the Arduino's pins 6, 5 and 4. The SCK, CS and SO pins of the second temperature sensor module are connected with the Arduino's pins 8, 9 and 10, while the SCK, CS and SO pins of the third MEX 6675 temperature sensor module are connected with the Arduino's pins 13, 12 and 11. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com you can find a link in the description 128 is the screen width of the OLED display in pixels while 64 is the height as the type of the OLED display I'm using has no reset pin so that's why I assigned a value of minus 1 then I defined pins for all the three max 6675 temperature sensor boards I have already explained the pins connections in the circuit diagram. There is only one thing that you need to take care of. Never use the same pins. Inside the white setup function, I started by activating the serial communication using the serial.begin function while 9600 is the bar trade. I will only use this for the debugging purposes. These instructions I have already explained the OLED display tutorial. Then starts the while loop function. First we read all the three temperature sensors and store the values in variables temp1, temp2 and temp3. Before you display the values on the OLED display module, make sure you clear the display. Rest of the instructions are exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial on the OLED display module. The purpose of these instructions is to set the text size, select the cursor position, display the text and temperature values. As you can see, I am using the same set of instructions for the sensor number 2 and sensor number 3 as well. The only difference is in the cursor position. Finally, at the end, I display electronicclinic.com. So that's all about the programming. The circuit diagram, libraries and programming can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.